We need to remember who is in control. So he saw God in his position. And he saw God in his personality. That's where we see verses 2 and 3 in our text come in. The angelic beings in the temple proclaim the trice holy nature of the God of heaven. And even those sinless creatures were careful to honor the holiness, the purity of the almighty God. And I want you to notice in that chapter that they covered their faces. The Bible said with twain, they covered their faces. With twain, they covered their faces with their wings. They also proclaim the glory of the Lord God. And Isaiah finally understood that Uzziah might have been a good king, but the Lord was a holy God, and he alone deserved the glory for all of our lives. Let me interject here today that there are those in this nation and maybe in our company that are worshiping other gods. There are those who have not lifted up their eyes to the hills from whence cometh their help. But I want you to know that God deserves our worship. God deserves our praise. God deserves our honor. God deserves his people to worship him in the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah. We need to remember that God's prime characteristic is his holiness. Our duty before the Lord is to honor his holy nature by living holy lives before him. We are